Well, we flip a coin a certain number of times, and we land on heads three times, and we land on tails seven times. Because we have five here and two here, together that makes seven. So, we landed on tails seven times, and landed on heads three times. We flipped the coin a total of ten times. Seven times it landed on tails, three times it landed on heads, for a total of ten times. Well, let's talk about a theoretical probability first. The theoretical probability of landing on heads is equal to one half. Because there's two total sides to a coin, we're basing it on facts. We know a coin has two total sides. One of those sides is heads. So the theoretical probability of landing on heads is one half. But how about experimental probability? We're not going to look at the facts for experimental probability. We're going to look at the data. We're going to look at the information that we were given. We're given the fact that we landed on heads three times. Out of how many times? 